Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's D. Lloyd. So, as of right now, somehow, some way, Jimmy Butler is still a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's right. He has not been traded yet. There has been rumors, and more importantly, the team that has gotten the closest to trying to get Jimmy Butler has been the Miami Heat. However, the Heat they want to get rid of Goran Dragic. Then, if the Timberwolves are able to get Goran Dragic, they want to then move Jeff Teague. But then Teague has too high of an asking price because the Phoenix Suns, they try to get involved and they try to get Teague somehow, but the asking price is still too high. And it looks like the Timberwolves are being unreasonable as to what they want from Jimmy Butler. Now, there are a few things I think that is causing the rift as to why they are, are, are unable to move them. The main one is, and something I keep on saying, is that head coach Tom Thibodeau does not want to trade Jimmy Butler. You know he wants to only coach if the team is competing, if they are in contention to try to make some noise in the Western Conference. He does not want to coach a team that is trying to get back draft picks. He does not want to coach a team that is not competing in the playoffs. So for Tim, um, Tom Thibodeau, he feels that Jimmy Butler is the key reason why they are competing, and he is definitely one of the main pieces. Now, of course, he will move them if he could get a lot back in return, but the only problem is a lot of teams are unwilling right now to give a lot back in return. Jimmy Butler, he could very well be a one-year rental. Now, if he put a team on his list like the Heat, you have a pretty good idea that he will want to sign long-term, but even then, do you want to invest a whole lot in Jimmy Butler, who is getting up there in age? He is an older star who still definitely has a couple years left in his prime, but that is about it. He's towards the tail end of that prime. So how much do you want to invest in a player like Jimmy Butler? That is definitely going to be the question that a lot of these teams have to ask themselves. And I think that's why they are hesitant, because realistically, the Timberwolves are only looking at trying to get back some assets, maybe some young pieces, maybe some draft picks. That is what a team will more than likely be willing to give up to get a player like Jimmy Butler. The Heat are by far giving up the most right now to try to get Jimmy Butler. And the Timberwolves don't think it is enough. And that even if they get going dry, because you would think maybe they can offset some things by moving um, Jeff Teague, of course, to the Phoenix Suns. But the Phoenix Suns are not willing to give up that much to bring in Jeff Teague. So I think the main underlying issue here is Tom Thibodeau. There's even been some reports that Tibbs is willing to actually get fired as opposed to trading Jimmy Butler. And that could go in line of what I've been saying is that he wants to only coach if they are competitive, if they have an opportunity to compete. If they don't do that, he doesn't even want to be there. So that is definitely why he doesn't want to trade right now Jimmy Butler because he wants to compete. And from the offers that I'm assuming they're getting, he doesn't think that they could compete with those offers. So much so that he could be willing to get fired. Now, I don't know 100% if I agree with that or believe that story or not, but it's definitely showing by his actions right now. He said he would honor his request to trade Jimmy Butler, but they're definitely taking a while to actually get this thing going and to try to trade him. But you guys let me know as of right now, what do you think will happen? Do you think Tom Thibodeau will be the head coach? Do you think Jimmy Butler will stay on the team, say, past Sunday, a full week after he made the request? And where do you think eventually Jimmy Butler will end up landing? And what type of assets do you think they'll get back? Do you think they can get back some established stars? Or do you think they're going to end up getting some draft picks and maybe a few players here and there? You guys let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you next time. Peace.